love it. Purple team, this is Marla. I spoke to you guys at opening ceremonies. Yeah. You remember me? Do you remember my voice? Yeah. All right, cool. Okay. So I don't want to talk too much because I know we're out here to run. Now, if you're going to use the guide, the guide wire, one of your hands is going to be holding that. So that one hand isn't going to swing as much, but the other one is. All right, so be tall, run fast, and uh, let's support each other and cheer each other on, all right? Singing the dream to opening ears all over the world. I got my first teaching job at Brockport. And I realized that my students would never, ever learn how to teach kids with visual impairments if I didn't do something. So I wrote um, some grants and got some money, and I started the camp abilities so that my students would learn how to teach children with visual impairments. Our job is to have children who have sensory disabilities understand that they can be empowered to change their own world and help to change the world around them. And our job is to empower them through the sporting experience. We expect these students to be independent and to try things and to come out of their comfort zone. And for our kids, we want to teach them and show them and give them opportunity to prove themselves to their parents, their families, their teachers and say, hey, this is what I can do. Look at me. And, and that's what, what I think this camp is all about. The program of, of Camp Abilities is specifically sports that they can do after school, such as tandem biking, track and field, swimming, and gymnastics. We also do judo and beat baseball and goalball. But I also wanted them to be able to be in the community with their peers. So we teach them things like basketball, rollerblading, fishing, rock climbing, kayaking. And so those activities are ones that they could do in the community and be involved with their friends. We'll acknowledge the person first through our vision by knowing our worth, changing what it means to be blind. I think the values of love and forgiveness are reflected in both the work of this camp and in the outcome of this camp. So when I say that I think love is being reflected here, it's everywhere. Love and forgiveness is actually the foundation of camp abilities. And the first, the first part is the teachers. The counselors who are here want to be here. They can't wait to connect with the campers and help them realize everything that they can do. For the campers, I see it that they can forgive and love the things that they've tried. They can be in a safe place to try something new and maybe not do it the best the first time or maybe not even want to try it and that's okay. You're allowed to make mistakes here and the kids are really encouraged to keep trying and keep trying again and you know they're not forced to do anything they're not comfortable with and uh, there's always uh, not only support from all the counselors here, but support from fellow campers as well. Love and action. That's why I come back every single day, every year. I love these kids inside and out. The Fetzer Institute has given us an opportunity to provide the foundation of sport and physical activity. So now, even though kids who can't ac access camp abilities can still access sport and physical activity because of the videos that we're making. I think that it's really cool that Lauren started this camp. I think that it's really great that she saw the potential that we all had and I just really think that it took an amazing person like her to get this started. 